Hi folks, Steve the Transit Camper, how are you today? Thanks for clicking on my channel, thanks for having a look. If you could like and subscribe, that would be nice. Uh, today we're going to have a look at putting these floor vents in, or gas drop vents they call them, and see how that goes. So I've had a good think about this, and what I would like to do is get one about there, and one about there, keep them close to that battery box. And hopefully that'll stop anybody standing them because I think you'd probably put your foot through them. They're not the strongest of looking things. Okay, so that's what we're going to try and do. So we'll have a quick look under the van. Okay, so we're outside the van looking through. And as always, we are scuppered straight away. So we've got the fuel tank there, which is going to be completely in the way of where I want the vents if I want them anywhere along the middle. So what we have got is just this space here. And if we bring that in line with the battery box, we'd probably be looking at something like that there. So if we look inside here, that black wire in the very center of the screen is gonna be our reference point of where we are under the van in relation to the battery box on the outside. So we'll have a look underneath and we'll see where that wire comes through. And then we'll look forward and see where the vent could go. So that's where that wire comes out. So going forward from there would bring us to that plug there. So we could probably put it anywhere there we'd probably have to put the two side by side but this beam here is slightly in the way if we come forward of that we're probably too far inside the floor of the van so it's a bit tight actually knowing which way to go here so after weighing all of this up it's going to have to go, let's just orientate you here. It's going to have to get one about there and then one right next door to it if there's enough room. I think initially we'll drill one, we'll drop it in and we'll see if it's possible to get one next door. Otherwise, we're just going to go with one. There's absolutely nowhere else to put it. I can't put it inside that cupboard where the fridge is because there's just no room can't go through the bottom of the battery box because it's not just going to create enough through draft with the fan with the fan to be able to suck it out so we're looking at there we're going to drill one hole through there and see what it looks like okay so i've been underneath the van sorry if it's a bit noisy that's the heater going and i've worked out that from that hole it's got to be 11 inches this way towards the back of the van and it's got to be a minimum of three inches coming back this way to avoid all of that stuff there and to avoid that center um, part of the chassis so we've I've measured from the hole from the cable to the inside and it's four inches so I've got seven inches left so in line with that it takes me to there and then I know I've got to come back at least three inches this way to avoid other beams. And that's three inches there. So that's where I'm going to go. Just going to worry and take myself there. Yeah, I'm happy there. And what we're going to do is drill a tiny hole straight down through there and see where it comes out and make sure we're right. Okay. So we are going to go very gently here because this carpet, if it wraps around the drill, it'll just rip that straight up. But I don't want to cut a hole in the carpet yet till I know I'm in the right place. So I'm just going to take it very careful. It's gone through the carpet nicely. I'm expecting it to go through the plastic, which is underneath it. It feels as though it has. And we're through. So we'll just disconnect the drill from that. Okay, 
we'll have a look underneath and see where it's come out. Hopefully, we've done it right. Okay, I promise you this is the first time I'm looking at it as well. Go underneath the van. Where are we? Ah, perfect. So I don't know whether you can see that properly. I'm trying to keep the shadow out of the way. That's gone through there nicely. And that will give me a 40 mil hole around. And then I'll have enough room to get the second one in there. So that's really good. Okay, so we'll go through with the hole cutter now. Okay, so the first job is we do need to get rid of some of this carpet. So if we put that roughly in the middle, it's quite good really, because you can line it right up with the middle of that cross on there. And we'll see how easy it is to cut a bit of this carpet out. It's probably not going to be that easy really. Got a good pattern there, we can see what we're doing. We'll get underneath it. Oh, well, you can see this very well. Can't really move the camera. Don't have to worry about this being too messy because it's going to be covered by the flange. I'm going to fiddle around with this for the next 10 minutes, 20 minutes or so, and I'll get back to you. Well, that proved to be really difficult, but we've hacked away at it. Got it somewhere near a circle. As you can see, that carpet lifts like that, and then we're going to get our whole cutter. And like I said, we're going to take it really easy. We don't want to catch this carpet and just rip a thread down it. Okay. So we'll drill that hole now. Again, like I say, we're going to take it really easy. This could all go wrong, could catch the carpet and we just have to get a new carpet if that happens, but we don't want it to happen. Just got on the centre. We've got plastic to go through first. Easy. There we have it, one hole straight through the van floor. Pop our fingers in there, mind the sharp edges, and I can feel that that seems perfectly fine. Quick show you what it's going to look like. That's beautiful. So, like I say, we have got enough room to get another one in here. I think that's going to be strong enough if somebody accidentally stands in it, but. They're not expensive to buy if that accident happens, so it doesn't really matter. So that's one. We'll have a look underneath whether we've got enough room to get the second one through. So we're looking underneath. Uh, we can see the first one's through. If we look across, we've got plenty of room there. See that? Plenty of room, so we're going to put the second one in as well. Let's get some good ventilation. So we've had a look underneath, we've checked, we've double checked. We know we're not going to drill through any fuel lines. We know we've got a space, something like that. We're going to put that one next to this one. So I've got a nice line there in the middle of that vent. I can just come across and kind of pick my gap really. I'm going to go for about there. Maybe not be quite so extravagant. 
on the top of the tree. I'm going to have a quick look underneath, you don't need to come with me to see that. So that's interesting. <clears throat> I've drilled the hole, uh, I've cut the carpet around and then this floor uh, goes like that, it's an up and down sort of corrugated effect. So there's a downward motion right in the middle of that, let me show you. I don't know whether you can see that orientated or not, yeah. So that downward motion. I've got to be careful that when I put my screws in, if you imagine that one's in there, I want the screws here and here. I don't, it's a good job I didn't screw that one in first because then the screws in this one would have been here and here and it's not quite going to get there, I don't think. So that's something to bear in mind. So we just need to drill this second hole now. And we're trying to be careful with this carpet. Just gently through it. Bit awkward this one. Some reason. That's it, and we're through. There we have it. Two pieces of chassis on the floor. Look. Who's going to clean that lot up? It'll be me. Okay. Get rid of all this. Let's have our first look at what the two look like. We can orientate them that way. I'm sure you'll agree, it's not a bad job. A little bit out of line, but not too bad. I'm happy with that. Alright, we've got some screws, stainless steel screws, they're better, and a nice little pilot drill. I'm going to do the awkward one first. Again, there's not a lot you can do about this carpet thing, you've just got to hope it doesn't pick up on it and go slowly as if it does, that you can keep some sanity. crashing through like I just did. She'll bang the plastic, damage it. And then 
let's see if these screws are long enough. These have got to find their way all the way through to the metal of the floor of the van to be any good. Oh, it's just gone tight, so that means going into the metal are perfect. Don't murder them. I like the slots in line. And that's number one done. It's nice. The only other thing I was thinking of is whether to have some sort of filter on the bottom of there. I might just get a piece of uh, air filter fabric, just pop it on and maybe put a Jubilee clip around or a tie or tape it on or something just to stop any creepy crawlies coming in. Um, not a problem in this country, but probably is in France and Spain where we go. There's lots of creepy crawlies under your van and that. They might come up through. So that's pretty good. I'm just going to drill the other one now, you don't need to see that. And there we are, both drilled in. I'm sure you'll agree, it's quite a tidy little job, but they are not where I wanted them. They're going to be in the way. As everybody steps in into the van, they're going to step on them. But they're very cheap to buy if you break one. It's not a problem, just get another one. So I'm pleased with that. So we'll have a look at these clips now. Get rid of those messy things. Do you agree? Looks quite nice.
and that's a much better job, much more sturdy job, much neater. Pleased with that. Okay, so one of the last things we need to do is have a look at this other bar which prevents us lifting up the table. Let me show you. So we've got a table here that just lifts straight up and becomes a flat table off that hinge. And then we add those two legs to underneath the table and it's brilliant. You've kind of got your cooking surface, you can do all your things here. And then as your pots and pans get a bit hot or whatever, you can set up on this table. You can also set up another cooker. But every time we want to get this table out, this bar, which is a side rail for the bed for my son-in-law, you have to take it out, put it somewhere, lift the table up, clips are in the way. So we're just going to get rid of that. So it's learning as you're doing. Um, we'll probably try just putting it there with one of the new silver clips and just see what that's like. If it doesn't work, that's fine. We can change it again. But that's our last job for today. Get rid of these. It's just one above, you can't see me doing this, but it's fine. And we're just gonna try this here. Call it a little trial period. Might not be any good, might catch our arms in it, but we can find out. It's all trial and error getting your camper right. It's okay. I'll try and get one on the bottom. Okay, we'll try this on the bottom. Not really enough room here, if I'm honest, but we'll see. Yeah, that's okay. Probably a bit worried that you might catch your leg on that, but we'll see how that goes. Is it any good? If it's good. If it needs changing, we'll change it. It's absolutely fine. Just want to try and show you how efficient this is now. just pulling that straight out it's difficult to show to be honest but that's never worked before I've blown vape underneath it before and it just kind of sits there and buffets and a bit goes out that's just sucked it straight out so that's really good very pleased okay and then I've just got the fan going at half speed the extractor fan I put my hand over that and it's incredible it's really drawing up beautifully so it's drawing up from there Really please. Hope it's just not too cold. <laughs> okay guys, that's it for this week's video. Done a few little jobs. 
people always worry about uh, drilling holes in your van and doing all that. Oh, it's a brand new van, don't want to wreck it and all of those things. At the end of the day, it's your van. If you want to drill a hole in the floor, drill a hole in the floor. It's not a problem. Just be careful, look out for petrol pipes, look out for that tank. You know, the petrol tank was directly under those vent holes. You don't want to drill into anything like that. So check and double check. Uh, what do they say? Measure twice, cut once. All those sayings are good, They're important. And um, just don't be afraid to get on with it. Just have a go yourself. What's the worst that can happen? Could have drilled through a petrol pipe. It'd get sorted. Somebody would come and sort that out for me. Cost you a lot of money. But you just got to get on with these things. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. You've been watching Steve the Transit Camper. Please like and subscribe if you like what you see. If you don't, drop a comment. Let me know what I need to do better, what I'm doing good at. I'm trying to be natural in front of the camera, but it's very, very difficult for anybody who's ever done these videos. I've also got the podcast, Steve the Transit Camper podcast, if you look for that. I've tried a couple of episodes with that. <laughs> That's really difficult because it's just your voice and nobody likes the sound of their own voice, I don't think. Anyway, take care. Have a look at that if you get a chance. You've been watching Steve the Transit Camper. Take care.